Hello friends, welcome back to the ethical hacking course. In the last few videos, we learned how to crack web encryption within a minute, even if the target network was not busy. But now we are going to dive into something more secure, cracking WP and WPA2. Before we get into the details of cracking, it is important to understand that WPA and WPA2 are very similar. The main key difference the type of encryption they use to ensure message integrity. WPA used TKIP while WPA2 used TCMP encryption. But don't worry, the methods I will show you will work on both. Security improvements in WPA and WPA2. Now, WPA and WPA2 were designed to fix the weakness of WEP. So, they are much more secure, and as you might guess, and cracking them is more challenging. But before we talk about how to crack this encryption directly. There is a one feature I want to mention that if misconfigured, make your job easier. This feature is called WPS. WPS stands for Wi Fi Protected Setup. It was designed to make it easier for devices like Winters to connect to a network without needing to enter the password. You might have seen a WPS button on wireless printers and router. Press the WPS button on the router, then on the device and they will connect automatically. No password needed. WPS use an 8 digit pin for authentication and here is where the vulnerabilities comes in. An 8 digit pin gives us to a relatively small number of possible combinations to try. If we can guess the pin, we can recover the actual WPA or WPA key without having to crack the encryption. So, in this case, we are not attacking WPA or WPA2 directly. We are exploiting our weakness in WPS. For this method to work, a few things must be in place. WPS has to be enabled on the network. It should be set to the normal pin authentication and not push button. If the router uses push button authentication, our attack won't work because the router will ignore any pin attempts unless the button is pressed. Now, most modern routers either have PBC enabled by default or WPS is completely disabled for security reasons. So this method might not always work, but because WP and WPA2 are so secure, it's always worth checking if WPS is unable and misconfigured. If it is, you can try the method I will show you in the next video. And if that fails, we will explore other techniques for cracking WP and WPA2 encryption. That's it for now. In the next video, we will dive deeper into exploiting a WPS and start testing network for vulnerabilities. Make sure to stick around because it's going to get really interesting. Let's move to the next video.